My name is Anton Wambogo Murevi uh, from Nkoroi Catholic Parish. And I'm a, I'm a friend of Father Dennis. I met Father Dennis and uh, through my wife in the Lake Camerites, we got to get very much acquainted, always smiling and very friendly. And somehow we got uh, some rapport. I used to look forward to meeting him and saying hi. Although we didn't get to know each other very well, but I, I always recognize them as a, as a friendly person. Uh, at one function at Kengongo Parish, where there were some very, very old ladies, uh, I got the name uh, Mutu Wamkono Wafada because I could do all the jobs around. And uh, we got acquainted th from there. The first thing I realized is uh, the relationship or the way Father Dennis related with the old ladies, the first ladies. And uh, the first incidents we were doing some fundraising for the uh, Narumoro Retreat Center. Our lady of Mount Carmel. And the one thing I realized and noted at my age is the ladies were old and I really pitied uh, Father Dennis because he was trying to raise funds like trying to get blood from, from yeah, blood that is not available. But eventually I was surprised. Father Dennis related so well with these ladies who are very supportive. I also realized his passion for this project and his vision. And as we got to talk more, I realized he had a very great passion for this project. And from then on, I became his Mutu um, Amkono, and I got hooked. So after the function, in seeing uh, Father Dennis's passion, a certain name step, uh, kept cropping up, Mr. Peter Ngure. I was very curious to accompany Father Dennis to Narumoro to meet this generous man. Definitely we went, and it happens that is my home territory. I'm uh, originally from Nyeri. So I was very excited to meet, uh, to find that uh, to go through where I, I was born and brought up around Mount Kenya. Uh, on reaching there, I met this old uh, man who was uh, very excited when he saw Father Dennis. Uh, something, their relationship was very something to watch because I kept seeing this old man talking to this young let me use the word young, but father. And they got on very well. Uh, Mr. Peter Ngure, I was very, very curious. Uh, I got to ask father about uh, the man. And that's when I got to know that he's a man who donated the piece of land, which to me was a, a great sacrifice for somebody that age, giving out to God all that chunk of land, giving it out. And so I, I, I looked at both of them, the passion in the man, the one in the, my young father, and I, that's when I realized I need to join in. I thought that was a very good team to join. So after, after I realized the passion and, and I jumped in, I think I jumped from the deep end. The first thing I knew is that I had friends in Nyeri. I had to introduce father to this, or some of my great friends which we did with a very, I believe, with very good results because although in most cases I'd be confused for the, sometimes for the ones who didn't know me, the friends of my friends, thought I was the one who was a priest. So there was a bit of explaining that I'm uh, the old man accompanying the, the father who is a priest. The passion I saw in Father Dennis was very contagious. I saw the passion of God, of a passion to do something, and the vision was there. So when I bought into that vision, when I, I saw his vision, I thought I should uh, go along with it. After leaving Nyeri and while we were driving back to Nairobi, we kept discussing. And the first thing we came up with is uh, the project being in Nyeri, it was only appropriate that we get uh, boys or homeboys, as we call them, to be the, the leaders of this project, or to be the people now who show Father Dennis around. And this is when we came with the, uh, the idea of the homeboys, 
And uh, this one uh, composed about 10 to 12 people from our parish. And then from there, we, we, we decided to have some uh, goat eating party. So in this session, we raised some funds and uh, we did some groundbreaking. And uh, of course, in every session, we do mass. After that, following the s next three months, with the funds we raised in that session, mm, I accompanied Father Dennis to Narumoro to inspect and to follow up on the building up of the perimeter wall. After doing the perimeter wall, and uh, we came back to Nairobi, we thought we needed to enlarge the committee so that now we can uh, come up with ideas on how to continue the project. We have built a foundation for 130 rooms, which we intend uh, for, for hopefully to get on with, with a availability of funds. I was inspired by Mr. Peter Ngure, and I saw the vision of uh, Father Dennis. Now I am appealing to you, my friends, and to bring along your friends so that we can accomplish this feat by completing this project.